Hey, once again, it's your boy Daddy for Triple D Gaming coming at you with another map making video. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. All right, ladies and gents. As you've seen in the thumbnail, uh, episode two. Uh, just kind of, kind of picking up from the last stream, actually. Uh, I did. One row of trees off stream right here. I finished this row right here yesterday, and that's that's about all I got done. <laughs> so appreciate that like there. Appreciate it. Um, and I ain't even done with this technically. I gotta I gotta put the dead trees in there still. Uh, yeah, right here. And make sure I was in the right spot. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Starting with this guy. I actually laid one of them down so far. Yeah, right there. Two of them. Couple of them. Couple few, two. So we'll finish laying these out. Um, and the good thing is, when I was messing around, um, so this is going to be our logging map. And we're going to leave some of the cell points in that. So once you're done logging it, you can um, put some fields in, whatever you want to do. Um, so, you, so you can continue to play it after, after you're done logging it. So what we're going to do... Um, or what I figured out how to do, rather, was to get snow on the main roads. So, uh, you'll be able to really plow some snow on this map, too. So, it'll be like a snow plowing logging map, aka a little bit of everything, <laughs> but mainly logging. Logging and plowing snow. So that that was one of the main things. I wanted to figure out how to get snow to go on the main roads. And I got that figured out. So we're good to go now. I'm happy. Very happy. Because if you didn't have like painted down roads like this. <clears throat> you wasn't able to plow snow. But I'm lost where I was at. Come on, come on. Down here, right here. This one tree I gotta keep pulling down because it has that like bald spot on the bottom. I appreciate them likes, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, right there. I don't know if you guys seen that before. <laughs> I kind of, uh, like I said in the last stream, we have all the trees from FS22, and then I added a few. And then I created this guy here, <laughs> and for some reason, the butt of the tree and ended up on the side. I don't get that. But anyway, uh, yeah, you can see it's kind of split there, and offset. But uh, it's still fine, just as long as whenever you I place it down, as long as I bury it under that bald spot there, it'll be okay. I just got to make sure I bury it under that bald spot. Yeah. 
a weird bald spot. <laughs> little music welcome guys if you're just joining welcome welcome yeah same we I, I figured out how to get snow on the actual um, asphalted roads so you'll be able to plow it'll be a logging aka snow plowing aka a little bit of everything map But mainly logging and snow plowing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was cool. Like, it's cool how the, the snow shows up on the um, blacktop roads, but come on now. You got to be able to plow it. You know what I'm saying? That's the fun part. You don't want to have snow and not be able to plow it. Anything you could plow is like painted down roads. Painted down roads or like parking lots and stuff. But base game, they got it to where you can't plow the, the main roads. Like, I get it if you're not into that. But you want the aspect of the, the snow. Like, you want to be able to see the snow and that, but you don't want to deal with it. I get that. But I'm pretty sure most people enjoy plowing it maybe I don't know maybe I'll make two versions of it one one version will be like regular and then we'll make another version of it or something uh, to where it'll be a snow plowing version maybe something like that Unless I can figure out a way to turn it on and off, but I I don't think I'm that advanced. <laughs> it would be nice though to just uh, turn on and turn off the snow for, for like the main asphalted roads. That would be cool. Alright, so I'll put that one too far. I put that one in the wrong group. Alright, so let's grab our next tree. We'll delete this one because it's the one we just put down. Delete that. Grab this guy. Yeah, right now we're just working on that out, out, <coughs> outbound um, tree line. Getting close to being done with this, with the tree line. Trying to go kind of quick here so we can get it done. Like I got all these houses and stuff here uh, still. Um, like I said, we still we're gonna be deleting a lot of this stuff. I just kept well I did delete a lot of stuff but I kept a lot of stuff too um, which we got to delete still definitely this has to go because obviously it's not Elm Creek anymore delete that guy look there <laughs> Um, so all of the collectibles are still going to be in the map. JR, is this FS-19? No, this is FS-22. Yeah, so all the collectibles are still on the map. And then once we get done building the map and doing our terrain and that, then we'll go through and we'll grab all the collectibles and replace them in places. Except for the ones that are um, pretty much already in a good spot but with us raising the ground and and that 
we still got to raise ground, put hills and all that good stuff. Um, a lot of them are going to be lost, <laughs> so we'll have to relocate all of them. And that way we'll still have collectibles on the map. And you'll still get your money for them. clean up here still. One, two, there's another one. Yeah, these trees definitely are nice. They definitely add to it. I'm gonna try to get um, the other tunnels in today and then maybe um, we'll get our watercolor changed. I already have, um, I've worked on it before and just didn't save it. So I already have like the color I wanted. So we'll change the color on that and then I'll get you guys' opinion on it. I think it'll be good for a nice logging map in the forest. Nice tone of water. It ain't that blue color. I think it's too blue. Too blue. Watch, I think that tree is helping. Yes, it was. Sometimes you gotta put down them trees, man, and it, it looks fine, but it, it'll trick you. It'll be hovering. You won't see it until you go in game. Alright. That one was definitely tricking me. But at least I caught it now and didn't have to fix it later. That's always a plus. To this tree right here like it looks rid like rigidy right here on this side uh, I don't think it's like that all the way around yeah see like right here it's fine I have no clue why it's like that on that side so as you see the other the smaller one Alright, 
<clears throat> yeah, as you see, the, the smaller one, it isn't doing that. I don't know why this one's doing that. Let me check the sizes on them real quick. Um, so this one here, I've just been putting in the background to where you really can't walk up close to it to see that. But I have been using it because it is taller. Like I said, I put this tree in, in, this, in the game, so... Oh, Robin, what's going on, brother? You long time, long time. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's getting there, right? That's what I was like. It's going slow, but it's going fast. So, if that makes any type of sense. So, right now I'm at uh, 1,246. So, um, four after four more, then it'll be uh, 0.25. Yeah, I, you know what, um, not yesterday, day before, first day I've streamed in a long time, i just been making videos and haven't been streaming, and started working on this map, and obviously, you know, we gotta stream that, <laughs> I kind of forgot why this tree is like that. Alright, so I made it a little bit bigger around, and it kind of took that out of there. It's still there, though, for sure. It's definitely still there. Let's see. Maybe that'll make it taller. This one here. Let's make this a little bit wider. If anything, I'll just keep it off to the back, like I've been doing. I really don't know why it's doing that though. It don't seem like it's doing it now. Maybe that was a problem. It's still a little bit like right here. Let me pull this tree up against it. See how much wider it is. Yeah, maybe that was the problem. It was just too... I don't know. I was thinking that maybe it was just too skinny. And it was causing it to... Do that crazy stuff, but... It's already bigger than this one. Bigger around and still kind of doing that crazy stuff there. <coughs> I'll leave it the way it was. We'll back up. Put it back to one. Welcome if you're just joining. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so yeah, we'll just use this one in the background, like I said. Off to the back side. put the skinnier the smaller one in the front I appreciate them likes too guys thank you thank you you guys are great where you at now uh, bold Robin What's going on, brother?
Yeah, I haven't streamed in a while. I was hoping everybody came back. I've been making videos, but I, I haven't streamed. I wanted to get some videos made before I started map making again. <laughs> Yeah, how, uh, where, nah, I mean, where you at with your, with your subscribers now? Old Robin. I think you had a nice little climb there too, didn't you? Yeah, right now we're just working on the, the boundary trees right now, guys. I'm almost around the map. <laughs> this is day number... Uh, I put that in the wrong spot. Um, this is day number uh, uh, six. Just working on these boundary trees. Going around the VH. Yeah, put her kind of build a background around. Now we're doing the boundary trees here. And then we got to throw some trees off in the distance. Already got them on the mountains. Um, it won't take as long to do the distance trees because I can really slam them down. Uh, but these trees here, just trying to be a little more precise with them. And these are actual trees that you can cut, but you can't because they're out of bounds. But you got to put them up front because the detail in them. And then in the back, back here, we're using the LOD of the tree, which you can see it's kind of like blocky, squared off and that. But from a distance, you can't tell. And then using those LODs of the trees, um, it doesn't like clog up a lot of space there on your on your map. At 314, haven't uploaded recently though. You working on a masterpiece as usual, Brad. You know it, you know it. So I put, I can actually, you can do it from inside the game too if you have the, de the development um, controls unlocked. You can make it to where you're, like how that's blurry back there. I can make it to where that's not blurry. And it, I can make it to where it's just as clear as the map itself. But that's kind of hard on your uh, on your frame rate while you're playing. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with it though. Um, yeah, I got to delete all of this stuff right here. But so I put the background in all the way around there. And then I wanted to keep the highway, so to do that, I had to make a tunnel, which I still got to finish it. I got to put rocks around it to cover that up. Um, and then over here, kind of did the same thing. I put a tunnel in right there. It got a light on it, so you can see see the tunnel at night. And then I I did this light right here. Put some trees laying down. Now this is going to be a waterfall right here. So water's going to, there's going to be an actual waterfall right here. And then uh, we're going to change the color of the water. That's too blue. Um, what else we got? I still got to put all the trees in that up there. And then right here, added some debris, you know. Some of that detail, you know, you know. What else? What else we got? So we got <laughs> this tunnel back here. So I wasn't too worried about it because it's so far away you can't tell. But all this is one of them buildings, guys. It's one of them buildings. And then uh plate. Well, 
FS22, now you have, instead of just planes and cubes, now you still have your cubes and your planes, but you also have spears, um, cylinders, cones, and pyramids. So this here is actually uh, a cylinder in front of the building. make like the dark tunnel part of it let me see um right here cylinder so if i pick that cylinder up you can you can see it's just a building but when you're on the map because this is way back here when you're on the map you can't you can't tell it just looks like a tunnel so if i back that up And then look at it from here too. Yeah, it just looks like a tunnel. So um, the main roads I kept them, and but I got all these hills in that back here now. So I couldn't just have it to where it looked like the roads were going into the hillside. So I put tunnels and stuff um, right here. I got this. Got one there for the water. Now these these ones here are not the buildings. These are the actual, the actual tunnels there from the Alpine map, actually. The tunnel in the back of the map where the train bridge is, that's where this came from. And then this, the uh, same thing though. They had the darkness like way back there and I didn't want the tunnel sticking out that far like it was on the Alpine map. So again, I made a cylinder made it black and then stuck it in there but as you see like right around that I put the dead trees um, and then all your bushes are paintable as you know but back here on the background you can't paint the bushes on the background so these ones here are actually placeable bushes so I place them down just to give this a little detail back in here um, couple dead trees fell over now you can't is it here ah yeah so right there you can actually come all the way up to this but up here right here for the train one I kind of did the same thing we still got to put the tunnel in there um, but for right there as you see that's the edge of the map you should be able to walk clean up to that but you cannot it doesn't let you why I have no clue so if we came come down here see how I got the X's right here it will not let you back here it forces like you got to come over this way and then right here where this fence is you can't go past this fence end game so I put all them bushes in that back here you can barely tell uh, but it still definitely looks better than just that background so in game, this is as far as you can go. And then up here, follow that fence, follow that fence. And then you end up back like on the edge of the map. I have no clue why it keeps you from going there because the edge of the map is actually right here. Like it's right here, but it doesn't let you go over there in game. So I'm gonna have to see like what's actually stopping. Stop in here. Oh, you know what? Let me click on that border. That's it right there. That's why. Yep. So that comes. Yeah, it pops out right there. And it keeps you from going over there. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. But, um, anyway, I tried to lay some detail down. And then same here, put some bushes down the middle of the highway. Um, then we gotta put our tunnel in there. Alright. And this this here used to be like a factory cell point thing. It had a bunch of industrial stuff back here. Well I took all that out and I made it a parking lot, right? It's still a cell point, 
but I, I put all the parking spaces in there, put cars in there. Um, I sat here and laid all of these pieces down for a gravel lot. Uh, it's not painted, it's actual placeable stuff there. Uh, and I did that and I changed this building. I turned, I turned it into the Dark Fort uh, Health Center. So I turned it into a hospital. You gotta have a hospital. Yeah, when you're logging. You never know, you might get hurt. So the Dark Forest Health Center. Made a little sign there. Yeah, loggers needed. Triple D's logging forest, cash out in the dark forest. So it's either going to be, like I said in the last stream, uh, the name of the map is either going to be the dark forest, um, the dead forest, or it's going to be the dead dark forest. So I figured once we get like close to being done, that'll help us uh, decide the name depending on the look of the map so it's gonna be one of those three though all right then we got another tunnel right there in front of us but like i said we still gotta add a tunnel there and then we gotta add a tunnel there for the train and then we're gonna um change the color of the water hey bread you got that fs22 yet bread Somebody made these here um, as a mod, made them placeable. The water stream steps there. I don't know, but um, in FS19 where you can paint down the water, that's about it, you paint down the water. <laughs> but in FS22, wherever you paint this water down, Whenever you walk through this in game, it actually makes water splashing sounds like you're walking through water. It's pretty, pretty darn neat, I think. Uh, oh, I've worked, I've worked on the uh, sawmill a little bit too. I might completely just completely redo it, but put one of my signs there. Added a couple of buildings so you can park your equipment. Um, of course, you know how I do. You know how I do it, Brad, with my water. I mean, I made the water run. And you can run all the way down this and it sounds like water splashing. It's pretty neat. Um, added another building for parking stuff. I put this in. And I was going to make this the sell point. So when you throw your logs on there, you can walk over and sell them. Uh, well, I was having problems with that. Which I still might get it to work, but for right for right now, it's just kind of storage place for your logs. Um, you can even just store them on there, and because you sell your wood chips right here, right right here, so you can either just store them on there and just pull them off of there and chip them. Use this as a chipping area back here. I had to add this water here too, <laughs> um, and then the actual sell point for your logs is up here. Uh, but I might change that or like I said try to get it to where you can sell it there and up here either or um, and I got it to where you know the the US map and the uh, French map they both have their own um, paintable textures so the American map you only have like gravel uh, um, dusty gravel dirt and gravel, grass, um, water puddle, forest, forest ground, and that, that's about it. Uh, I, I messed with it for like 30 some hours trying to figure out how to add more paintable textures and couldn't figure it out. Well, I accidentally stumbled upon it the other day, all right? So we are gonna have every single texture in, in the game on this map. Um, whether we need it or not that way I can uh, lay down some more detail when we're painting in stuff um, I'm gonna make a video on how to do it too it like I was trying to do it the same way that I did it in FS 19 and It does not work like that. It is way way different in FS 19 you have to do it through um, 
you have to do it through uh, the i3D file. You go into a text editor and do it like that. Well, it, it just doesn't work that way on FS22. It doesn't work that way at all. But I did figure it out. And it's actually kind of easier, to be honest with you. It takes longer, though. It's easier, but it takes longer. A lot longer. And I'm going to do, do a video on it. A how-to video to show how to, how to do it. real quick and then I'm gonna try to refresh refresh my uh, browser of course my phone always goes off got the volume down on it too but it's still I don't know how much I'm excited about this one, guys. I like logging. I like my TP maps too, though. <laughs> but I've, I haven't made a logging map, so that's what I wanted to do. Get a nice detailed map out there for, for, for the logging community. I think that guy's. Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to go in game and just walk around here and make sure there ain't none of these floating. It's hard to tell in the editor. It really is. That one's trying to float. Another, another Picasso. This one, this one shouldn't take as long, though. Uh, house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I also pulled a, another tree in before I started today's stream. So now we have even more trees. <laughs> Different varieties of trees. Like these are all very evergreens. I want to do 
like here and there throw some different trees in um, just so whenever it is uh, winter or whatever it got a little bit of color change in some of the trees obviously not in the forest but like maybe around the store or something like that we'll throw some trees in there that'll change with the with the weather or the season rather like I said I was able to get if you're just joining I was able to get uh, snow to fall on the regular roads so you'll be able to plow snow off the regular asphalted roads like the highway and everything so be it uh, logging slash snow plowing map slash farming if you want to <laughs> after you log it like I said I'm leaving I'm gonna leave the um, not all of them but I'm gonna leave some of the cell points in uh, the ones that I don't leave in you can always go and just purchase them and place them down uh, but I'm leaving the carpentry for sure because you're logging, you know. Might want to make some furniture. Then we'll leave a couple of basic cell points there. So um, after you log some of it out, if you want to create some fields and farm, you can do that. Which I don't have to leave any in. I mean, because pretty much all the cell points are all placeable. You could go ahead and place them but just go ahead and make it part of the map alright so now we got these two places we can go ahead and delete them delete delete um the pine I actually put the pine here and there up along here but like back in here I did not place the pine tree on the border grab this guy and I'm just gonna go I'll do these ones real quick place these along the back this a little filler and then I'll take the smaller one and I was using this as a filler to where you couldn't see through here as well but I stopped using it back here since we have the the hills uh, right here I did stop using it for sure because the hills like right on top of the tree line Right here, I probably could have used it because there's going to be a lot of filling back here, but it'll be alright. Yeah, I was zooming in when I was putting these in. Just to make sure I was filling like all the gaps. If I was standing over here looking at it. That's why it was taking me forever too though. <laughs> but back here there's going to be. Like I said, Timmy filler trees. We got the hill on that. We're good. So I actually don't have to seclude it off as much. Kind of want you to be able to see through there a little bit. 
but like I said, the little one of the tray we're placing right now, we'll go along the front and kind of do that with it. Just make sure we get the big gaps filled. this pine matter of fact we'll leave just the one right there all by itself we'll get rid of this big one delete got this and we'll come along the front here and like I said wherever there's big gaps we'll go ahead and throw these in there so it really doesn't matter because we'll have a bunch of filler trees in the back so I'm just going to throw a few of these in along the front here then we'll call it a day things leaning. How did that happen? It's just them ones, right? Yeah, let's grab it again and try to replace it. Somehow that tree is leaning. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely leaning. I must have grabbed it somehow turned it. Alright, 
Okay, so one there. Where is that other one? Right. Both of those ones there. So one here. So we'll get rid of them laners. One there. Yay! No more leaning. There's a leaner. <laughs> yeah, bolt Robin. Alright, so. See ya, bye. I gotta make sure I get them all. <laughs> I didn't even think I grabbed a hold of it like that to even make it clean. But I guess I did. If you guys ain't subscribed and you want to see where this map heads, don't forget. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. How did I do that? Uh oh, I'm deleting trees. Selected my tree. Yeah. You. I'll be tired of seeing trees after this. <laughs> hey, this is only the border trees. Like I said, the rest in the back, it, it'll go quick. These ones here, I'm just trying to precisely put them just so they're evenly spread. Appreciate the like too, guys. Um, uh, The other ones, I'll just randomly throw down. Uh, and then, like, I could use a, sp a spline for this. Could lay down the spline and just really loaded it down with trees quick. But <laughs> I think putting the trees down like this, um, it makes it look more natural. And it doesn't look forced. You know what I'm saying? Jewel, Jewel, how's it going, Jewel? Uh, 
たよね<笑> I think we got after this section here we got like two more I'm good I'm good I didn't I didn't do any well I worked on it yesterday but I didn't stream it uh, I didn't get too much done though <laughs> yeah it, I only got like one section done I was working on stuff I did I've said it a few times already so I apologize if anybody's getting tired of hearing it but uh, I actually figured out how to get the main roads because on FS22 there there's snow you can plow snow but you cannot plow snow on the maiden black topped roads like the highway and all that uh, like it has like a snow texture but you can't actually plow it and I figured out how to get it to where we can actually plow the snow on the main road so now we have a logging snow plowing map <laughs> Uh, y yes <laughs> not lately though I do need to hit it again but yes I have yeah you guys gotta keep on me about that because we all know what what happens <laughs> could fill that in but I think I'm gonna leave a couple spots like that open a little bit like where them dead ones are right here on the left definitely gonna put some in there just to fill that green space Oop, hit the wrong button Um, that's how FS19 worked. Um, like how FS19 it had like the uh, um, like the mesh for the seasons. I forget. The seasons mesh or whatever they had called it. Um, it doesn't have the season per se. <laughs> seasons mesh. Um, but yeah, it's kind of something like that, Joel. Yep. That's why it was so open there, because I ain't even supposed to be placing these right there. It's from the wrong group. I mean, I need them there, but not from this group. I gotta keep my group separate. Yeah, I was in the wrong group. Alright, so, that was actually the last tree from that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we have a floater. See, yeah. That's why you gotta watch. Like, I was up here throwing them down. That looked perfectly fine. But obviously, it's not. Alright, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one. That's why normally when I play a small, I play some from this, this view so I can tell what's happening. Alright, but now we can go ahead and get rid of these. Get rid of that one. Tell you what, we'll, we'll keep one of these little guys here. We'll put him up front here, right there. Houston, we have a floater. Alright, now, uh, man, I went ahead and deleted all this the other day trying to figure out exactly what to do with it um 
all right so right here you have your oil mill um, oil factory oil mill whatever you want to call it for selling like sunflower oil and all that good stuff which you can put this down as a placeable so um, I want to get rid of it because I don't want this factory type stuff happening on this map obviously it's supposed to be a forest and not a factory type deal I know we're keeping the highway and a little bit of the town but still I don't want this industrial stuff there uh, I wish we had pecan trees and stuff that we could collect pecans to sell yeah 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 um, FS22 we actually have um, olive trees what do we got we got um, well they got olives and grapes in the game but as far as actual trees there is actual like olive trees that we can place down so we got olive trees there's a, a couple of new trees actually in the new game uh, yeah but not pecans <laughs> all right so yeah I gotta figure out what exactly I'm going to do here so whenever I pull all this out we got this big white spot I can't have a white spot so what I was working on or thinking of doing with that was uh, to come up here to create create a plane and then we'll toss that down there blow that up a little bit and let me get in the, get in the files here albedo map steam library steam maps common wrong one so steam library steam maps common fs22 data maps textures terrain ground no 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 back up back up map uh us textures nature uh cliff no back up one terrain no what was it I can't remember what I used <laughs> hey appreciate that like too uh I think that might have been it the terrain let me look down here real quick Grass dry patchy. Diffuse one, two, three, and four. All right, so let's try that. Grass US one. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. All right, so then because I don't want that big white thing and I don't want these buildings so we made a plane of this obviously um, it isn't the same as this stuff but I don't think as long as it's green I think we'll be alright I can actually put this exact texture that's here on this plane uh, but I think it works better like this and I could just blow this up but then as you see it makes the grass like way too big <laughs> and we can't have that so if I do a few of these smaller and just cover that white I think we'll be alright 
What do you guys think? I think it looks good too. I mean, it ain't the greatest, but you really won't see it anyhow. You will and you won't. No, it won't. Because if, if it does, well, if you do delete it, it uh, it deletes the whole. It's just the whole uh, background. All right, so then I could separate that. Oop. All right, so there's that's the original background to this map, and then this is the original background to this map. But uh. Yeah, I can't. I can't just get rid of it. And I kept it there. I mean, I could just go ahead and get something different and just use a completely different background. Uh, but then it'll be hard trying to match that as well, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's all a pain in the neck. I just know I don't want that white there. And I need to... I need to click into this background. And come over here. Come to shapes. I, and stop it from casting shadows. So this shadow stop doing that. Receive shadow. It's fine, but in that case, it's not that one cast in the shadow. Which one is it? One of them's casting the shadow on us. Maybe it's from all of them, who knows. <laughs> um, no. No. Um, because it's outside of the map. Um, yeah, so right here's the actual map, and then right here's the background. So if I raise that piece of background, right, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing under it. And that's just the mountains, because the mountains I put in there are like way taller, and I didn't want them that tall, so... They're really under the map. <laughs> you see how far down they go? Yes, ooh. And that's kind of why I have these other backgrounds over here. Like this one here. That's covering up fields. You know, it's a logging map. I didn't want a bunch of fields in that showing. There's some other stuff under there too. So that's why I have this one here. Um, which I could probably just do the same over here, um, but then I'd have to add more tunnels for these roads that's coming through there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, because it's L-shaped. See how it wraps around into L? So it would knock all my stuff off over here. I get what you're saying though. If I took it and just drag it like this way. So that white stuff was underneath the map. I believe that's what you're trying to say to me. Something like that. So now the white area isn't there. I had to drop it down a little bit too because of that. obviously I wouldn't leave it that low but um, yeah and then it uh, throws off all the roads over here <laughs> I don't know how this one's still lined up though. Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, because that's an actual road right there, that's why. Yeah, that one could actually be lifted off. Click on this plane. Let me go back in here. Alright, so. some rock <laughs> uh, I was trying to find this actual uh, ground here so I could switch it to that to see what we could do with that but I can't remember exactly where it was I could do this. but that's got a blur to it Yeah, I just know I don't want that white. <laughs> Textures. Background, background. I don't know if anything, I guess we could use that, um, the grass texture we were just on. It just sucks that I even have to do this. You know what? Uh, here, let me try something else, real quick. Let me let me back out of here. Let me slide this out of the road real quick, cause we might still need it. But let's see if we can do something here without having to use that. Yeah, I could do that too. 
I could do that. Bread, bread, bread. All right, so. What did I just do? Obviously it wasn't right. Oops. It was right. Okay. You see how that does that? It doesn't give you your circles around here. I hate how it does that. You gotta click up here and use your circles. Or just click it off so you have both again. Alright, so. I went too quick. <laughs> Back up. Try to shrink this down without it going crazy on me. Being a pain in my neck. I hate that you, you just barely pull on it and it just it either goes way too big or way too small.
All right, so I'll, if I if I do do this, I'll, I'll probably have to blow it up to make it that full size. Uh, then it would block that off. Uh, I don't know if I could just get it. Like how this is, this one here might work better. How this one's big, a big hump right there. All I need is one piece that's humped up, but I don't know, that might not work either. <laughs> it might be one big giant rock there. <laughs> Man, I'll get it here eventually. Um, oops. Yeah, Joel, I could do that. I was trying to avoid doing that though because uh, obviously I can't. I don't want to make them super big because, like, if you're standing down here, uh, like next to this thing, this thing is massive, all right? <laughs> but if you were to bring it over here, it really wouldn't cover much of that up so I'd have to use a bunch of them and I don't want to make it bigger than what it is you know what I'm saying so I'd have to use a few of them to get that area covered and with having to use a bunch a bunch of rocks like that it would drop your frame rate in game when you was over here by them uh, I only know that from experience <laughs> Um, and now uh, see if I was able to use something like this, it wouldn't affect the frame rate at all. But if it comes down to it, I mean, that's, that's what I'll do. Just use a rock. You know what? Let me try something else. Uh, here, let me just get rid of this for now. And grab this rock. I think if I turn this over, it, it's actually green underneath. Uh, okay. We're inside the rock. I'm surprised it actually even has texture inside of it. It's a rock cave. <laughs> it's a rock cave. That's awesome. Um... Yeah, that's the first one I've seen do that. It's probably because of the way I blew it up, though. Yeah, it's not letting us see. Oh, that's why I turned it inside out. I'm like, whoa, what's happening here? All right. Yeah. I, ah, come on. I turned it inside out when I, whenever I did that. Look. I, I think that's, that's what I did. I think. I think it's still inside out, isn't it? Yeah, it's still inside out. Ooh.
Uh, maybe it's not this one. One of them's actually green. It is this one. There's like a hole in it. Right there. <laughs> Alright, but what I was trying to do was find the green side of it and just blow it up real big. And then just get it to where it just... Like, just poke it through the surface there just to cover that up without having to actually have, like, full rock up here, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to do, but that's probably not going to work either. You know what I mean? Something like that right there. grab a different one of these which rock was that number four Uh, maybe. But yeah, I could do that too. Just in that one area. Hang on. Let me copy this real quick. Oh. And... maybe put these rocks and just try not to cover the whole thing instead of covering the whole thing just maybe lay a couple of those out and then either just cover the rest with the oop that's the paintable ones uh, cover the rest with the placeable bushes and or um, I'd say These, but these change so whenever it came winter they would change and it wouldn't be green anymore <laughs> but I could just throw that down and then just like sink it down just to where it looked like bushes there you know what I'm saying just a bunch of greenery <laughs> Yeah, it's one spot, man. Yeah, I mean, this here would be perfect right here. But whenever whenever fall hits, it's going to turn orange. And then whenever winter hits, the leaves are going to disappear on it. And then it'll just be branches. Ah, uh, Joel. Um... That's what I like about this too, the new game, uh, as far as like, this goes, I don't know if you've seen this, alright, so if I go to the foliage layer, make my brush smaller, you now have ground foliage, right? And I love this. So now you can paint down tree, tree branches, right? So we'll definitely have some of those, um, which you couldn't do before. Oops. You got big ones, then you got small ones, so little twigs there. Then you got 
all kinds of different mushrooms. Like a bunch of different mushrooms. White tip mushroom. But what I like about it is, oh look at his ones. I never even seen them ones. What I like, and I use it a lot. All right, so you got this, the ground coverage stuff, which I, you put over your water. Um, uh, elm leaves, you got all the different trees, leaves you can put on the ground. But I like these right here from a forestry. It's like just dry sticks. <laughs> I love these. Definitely be using those. Yeah, you got all kinds of new stuff you can paint paint down. You got some ferns. String needles or Yeah. Yeah, so there's all kinds of new stuff we can do. I like it. Alright, now back to this. Back to the headache here. <laughs> The headache at hand. It stopped me from putting my trees down. Oop. Alright, so let me delete that. I don't think everybody's liking it either, because. Yeah, we lost some people. <laughs> They're gone. We put a big building like. Oh, cap in there. Yeah. If I had a log cabin big enough, <laughs> I could just put a decoration sawmill there. Because I'd be okay with the sawmill. I just don't want the industrial stuff there. Um, now, because we are keeping the train, um, so that's forcing me to keep this building right here, right? Um, but this is connected to it. But we can get rid of these bridges right here. We can delete them bridges. So we can delete all of these other buildings and just keep that one. We can delete everything here except for this cell point because I want to keep that cell point there. And then everything else can go because there's actually this cell point which is the oil, oil cell thing, oil mill, whatever you want to call it. And then there's actually another cell point here but it's not placed down. Uh, through the i3d it's actually placed down through XML files so it doesn't show up until you actually go in game so I'll have to go into the XML file and actually get rid of that too there's a few things I got to get rid of through the XML files um. I'd rather it be something natural though. Try to keep try to keep the buildings to a minimum. I would like to, you know what I'm saying? But uh, if we gotta do it, we gotta do it. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to do with that plane. Unfortunately, though, this actually isn't like flat here. And that's what was making it hard with that plane, too. And I only know that because because it was stretching the plane out to cover the whole thing. Yeah, there's like little hills in there. It doesn't look like it, but it, it there is. Yeah, this Brock idea though, it might work out. It might work for us.
and made it flat as a pancake. I did too, I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> Alright, um... There we go. Man. That, that white area just had to be huge, too. It's massive. Like, this one we can actually get rid of. Because I can pick this up. But there is a little white spot under it. But I ain't worried about nothing that little. This this here is just, it's big. <laughs> uh, now, this brown area, I'm okay with that, too. Because that could be like dirt. But this, this white area, we got to get rid of that. Somehow. Oh. Okay, that one actually came out pretty good. Um, I'm put this here and then, like, yeah. Put that there. And then, like, our, our border trees will be coming up. Let's see. I'll slide this building forward. Um, there was something else. There's a lime selling station over here, too, I think, somewhere. Yeah, I think it's, like, right there. Uh... Was there something here I wanted to keep? I forget now. Oh, a parking ride. Yeah, we should keep the parking ride, huh? The parking ride and the train station. And then everything from there on to get rid of. Yeah, because there was... I want to say there was a, a cell point here, too. I can't remember. I know right here is the cell point and then that building up there. Okay, so maybe we'll slide this building forwards. Right. And then as our trees come through, um, right where the trees are exactly, we'll just put a bunch of them bushes down just to cover the white. And then we'll have to rock like right up against those trees. And then... Um, we won't try to fill every single gap with rock, so maybe we'll put that rock there, another rock here, and then like fill that in with bushes, replaceable bushes. And then everywhere where it's brown, we'll just leave it alone, because it'll just be like dirt with trees in it. <laughs> what do you think? Put bridge uh, planks there or log piles. Um, yeah, there, I don't think we have log piles in the new game. I would have to go into an FS19 map and, and convert log piles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I would have to convert log piles. Unless I just put actual logs there. <laughs> strip, strip the, uh, the branches off of a tree and just put the, the tree trunk there. Ah, of course there would be a dilemma. Alright, so all I gotta do is this one little stretch of trees to the boundary trees.
Yeah, let's lay the bridge down as high as it. I don't know, it would be huge though. It would just look like huge planks, like. Cause there's a lot of buildings laying there. You know what I mean? That is a big area. I don't know, whatever I do, it's got to look good, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. What even happened to that? I must have missed a layer or something when I grabbed hold of it. Like, I wish the plane... Oh, I must have turned it inside out like I did the other thing. Um, I wish the plane thing would have worked. There we go. Uh, them board from Jolly Green Giant's house. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, Bolt Robin, appreciate you, brother. As usual. Even the rock, man. Even that rock is massive, but with it being that big, it's more practical, I guess. Um. I'm trying to debate here. Of course, it had to run clean back air, too. I guess I could leave that wall there, but I don't want to. <laughs> I wanted all of that to go. Uh, but that wall could be running there for the train, even if it was back in the woods, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm going to keep uh, this. And I can slide that back to where it was. Um... Cause I, like, I don't know. I just wanted this building alone, you know what I'm saying? To just be like in the middle of the woods somewhere. <laughs> Cause I wanted all of that to be forestry area. I didn't want to have all of this in there. But that one white spot's killing me. <clears throat> um. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I guess we'll use these rocks. And then I just got to figure out what exactly am I keeping here and what am I getting rid of. So, there's like 9,000 of these things. <laughs> Car dealer storage.
I'm just going to save it real quick just in case everything goes south. <laughs> Save it and then uh -oh. what just happened? All right, <laughs> uh -oh. oops. I'm gonna have to go in um Yeah, like all them cell points. I think even this I, I'll have to do it too. Like all the cell points um that we don't see right now. I wanna change this to make it something custom. Because there's a bunch of these all over the map. Once I change one, it'll change all of them. Um, but all the cell points we don't see right now, I gotta make sure I go into the uh, XML files and get rid of it. If not, it, it'll uh, whatever we build here, there'll still be the cell point in the cell point marker there if I don't go into XML files and get rid of it. I can debate in here. BGA. I'm going to keep the BGA, the BGA itself. Uh, but this stuff here can go. These buildings. Alright, so we got downtown. And then you come down this way. Here's the store, which I was going to change the building of the store. And maybe even the location of it. That wouldn't be there. I'm just wondering if I should keep the rest of these buildings, like the small houses that go with the little theme of the little downtown area. So in game standard, your your farm starts right here. But I'm getting rid of all of that too. So it'll just be like the little strip right here. And then all four three behind it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm wondering if I should just end all of that, like, right there where it is, like, back here, because I'm getting rid of this again. Um, or what? Get rid of that. Of course, another white spot. You know what? That'll be back in the woods. We can probably keep it there. Man, these white spots are killing me. <laughs> Where you see logs at? Because I know like the big log piles that people will use in their forestry maps for the the sawmill. I don't think there's big piles like that. Um, I don't think.
a small log pile by this house. Oh, you know what, too, in, in FS22, you know, like, all this decoration stuff here, Joel, um, well, in FS19, you can't touch or move this stuff. Everything in Farming Simulator 22, like, this rake or the, the little hand tools, everything, you can pick up, move it, throw it, whatever you want to do with it in, uh, FS22. It's just, it surprised me. I was like, wow, it lets you pick up everything. Like, everything, you can pick it up. This can, you pick that up. Like, if it's something that wouldn't be too heavy, all the little stuff you can pick up. Yeah, if it's an actual small wood pile, I could stretch it out. But I know there's, like, the uh, firewood. But it was in the, um, in like the little holder thing, I don't know. I'm trying to remember where it was at <laughs> when you, when you seen it. I just hear about these houses right here. Either I'm not seeing it or it wasn't even over there though. Oh, I got this drainage system here too. Man, I might end up having to Oh, and you can type, you can type in up here. You can type to, to find stuff.
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. I lost all my viewers though. <laughs> I had five at one time. Yeah, two. One of these days. One of these days. I don't know why this has been like uh I forgot I had that drain there too. So, I guess I'm gonna have to try to work on this. <laughs> um, off stream, too, at some point. Because we really gotta get rid of this white area. keep the park and ride the little park and ride area and then that building try to get rid of everything else bring it around there and then put the big one here and just kind of like box that area off 
just this little area right here and then wipe everything else out. Saying you're you're gonna be back and forth a bit from from the stream or hopefully deleted the building but the garage door stayed there. <laughs> All right. It's really driving me nuts with this white stuff here. The air conditioners are going to stay with that. There we go. Get rid of that. Now, like, even if I just did that right there in the front, it would be fine. But, like, if you were out of driving through here out of car view, like, not in cab view, and you were really zoomed out, then you would be able to see all that. Like I said, I'm okay with the brown area because that could just be like dirt. But I, I really want to get rid of that white area. Like, if it's gotta, if it's gotta be with rocks, then so be it. We will use rocks to get rid of it. one of them like super green on the bottom right, so we could do I think there's actually a couple of them like that super green on the bottom change clip distance on that. Just thought of that too. Alright, 
free. That way, when we send them away, they don't disappear. Mm, this should be alright. Sucks we gotta do this just to cover up all that whiteness, but uh, it is what it is. I could have just left it there, but like I said, it's, I mean, it's supposed to be a forestry map. I don't want it industrial areas all over the place. I know it doesn't let you separate the lines like if you wanted to grab a pole with just a line and then build it on or just get rid of like this row of poles right here you can't do that um, so as you click on it, it it'll take that whole line you might be able to let me figure out what's going on with these red lights here though I got floating lights I don't know why I don't think I deleted anything that was right there, did I? I don't know, we'll find out in a minute, I guess. Um, yeah, that's the whole... I guess there's supposed to... No, there's supposed to be a pool there. Or something. What's this one, I think? Yeah. I must have deleted the pole or something. Unless I'm just not seeing it. Or just didn't put one there. Because it's so high up. Yeah, there's supposed to be one there, I believe so. Yeah, this one doesn't. Alright, so we'll leave that alone. We just gotta get rid of these ones that are floating here.
Yeah, like if I clicked on these wires, uh, see, it's just the the it. Yeah, it it won't let you. So if I just wanted, if I wanted to keep those ones, um, I I can't do it. I would have to like uh, come up to the planes and that create a cylinder, bake it long and black, and then uh, make my own power line things because there isn't nothing in prefabs or nothing yet either. Uh, Yeah, they're, I don't know, I, I haven't looked in there in a few days, but, um, there really wasn't nothing in prefabs yet. A couple of things, that's about it. I don't think it's going to let me get rid of them spikes on there. Nope. So you can get the... Get it down to... That. And that's about it. So you still got... These guys on there. That would make a nice log pile if you could get everything off of it. You can't even take these off, which is surprising because normally you can. I guess if I lay them rocks out, it'll be fine. It'll look good with those, I believe. And if it doesn't, I'll make it look good. <laughs> Somehow. I don't like how the rocks do that, though. You see how it looks nice and good? Like this thing's popping out now. Well, that's when I back away from it. They've always done that though. Like it takes on a totally different shape. I, I don't get why it does that. And I've tried to adjust stuff on it. Even in the last game. To get it to not do that. Alright. Um, man, I didn't think this area would drive me this crazy, but it is. Yeah, see, like, even right there, you could tell that's humped up right there. See, you wouldn't even be able to just throw a plane on it and be done. <laughs> see, here's some placeable bushes. really have to load it up with these even then you can still see the white bottom through these really had to put them in there thick like that oops Yeah, even if I put water, I'll 
try I'd go around it with bushes just so there wasn't square water there <laughs> for sure is going to crash on me all right yeah normally when I try to back up that quick it it crashes But I could use one of these big hills and just shrink it down, plop it down in there. But the only bad part about that is, see, I might be able to use this one. The only bad part about that is, is like right there, there, there is no back to it. And I think with it being over there, you could see that. Because from right here, you could see that there isn't a back there. But from down here, you really. You kind of can. <laughs> um, I know for sure I did. Joel, like a regular wood pinch post, but I deleted it already a while back, like when I first started. There's a white one. A square white one. Take this bench apart. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Uh oh, does it come apart? Nope. <laughs> I hate that. That would have been nice, too. Just that half log. Um, yeah, there is a log cabin somebody made already for FS22, like I could use that, but that would only do, you know what I mean, it wouldn't do enough of it. <laughs> yeah, right, that is a cool bench. Um... What about this pole? Still the same pole. game right here this really looks like it's rock sitting in there it's pretty neat all right but we gotta I, know, I gotta find something man I don't know even if I have to I'll grab a, a couple planes and then do that grass 
and then we'll lay out some more of these here. I'll get it to look good. Then right here, this corner, I was debating on what to do here too. Probably just wipe everything out that's sitting here. Maybe leave a house. Get rid of these. Is that a different pool? Looks like it, huh? Still got that on it though, but it doesn't have the, the foot peg things. Eh, no, it won't let me completely strip it down. Nope. Hm. Naturally. Tell you what, guys, uh, I gotta take like a little two minute break. <laughs> I will be right back.
I know that's what I'm trying to do here too. Let's see if I'm able to change the color of that. And if I paint down dirt roads, if I can continue them through there as well. jumpy look we got two for things there too all right so Man, that wasn't gonna work, huh? Anyway, I should keep this. Um, Because um, all these other lines are like long and they turn, and I should keep that little. Oh no, it won't. All right, never mind. I was gonna say I should keep that little section because it was a little section, and I could use it to build other poles if I had to. But as you see, it's a lot bigger piece than I thought it was. smaller pieces so until we get a prefab or something for it
Alright, sorry about that guys, I had people being loud, so I just muted the mic for a minute. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the tree. Trees ran up there anyway. Um it's getting close to getting close to my bedtime. Um so I guess I'm just gonna run these trees up to here and then um We'll get rid of a little bit more there. Um, and then in the next stream, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to work tonight. I got a few things to do when I get off. And then we'll, we'll get right back to it. Uh, I might work on it a little bit more at least try to get this white stuff covered up before I start the stream so that way we can carry on so I'll hit these trees there and then we'll have to get this taken care of and then finish the trees out up to this point here and then we'll finally be done with the border trees and then we can move on uh, I still got to slap some trees up here on the hills and like I said all these but these trees down here is it, it's gonna go quick it'll be a lot quicker than putting these precise ones down and then we can start working on the actual map um, this here too I'm getting rid of all of this and like I said I put this building in there uh, and then we'll, we'll just use this as our cell point. Then the cell point appears right here through XML. Uh, then we'll get rid of all that. And then we'll just have four straight around it. Bleh, bleh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to finish running out these trees here first before I, I uh, end the stream. But that's the game plan. That's the game plan. I appreciate everybody's support though. 100%. I can't wait to get it done. Um, so I don't know what it actually takes to um, submit a mod to Giants. I've never done it. Uh, We'll, we'll see what we come up with here. I'll try not to use... Well, it doesn't really matter. Because if we do have brand names or something, we'll just... Uh, it'll just have to be a... Uh, PC map only. But... <laughs> if it comes out good, which, I mean... All my maps normally do come out... Good. <laughs> but... Uh, maybe we'll try to submit it to Giants. See what happens. Um, like I said, I was going to change the store. 100% changing the store. I was going to put it somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, though. But I did. So, real quick. Wow. <laughs> so I was actually thinking about throwing this in. Let me get an import real quick. I was actually thinking about throwing this in and using this as the store. Um, let's see if I can find it. But if I use this as a store, I'm sure they won't. I, well, I know it wouldn't be uh, able. We wouldn't be able to send it, submit it to Giants for console. through all the agony of converting this from FS19 to uh, 
to FS22 just to use it as our store for this map. <laughs> It's awful big though, like it's really big, but that that's what I was going to do. I was going to get rid of this actual store and then use this for the store, may and or may not. So we'll, um, we could open up this gate, right, and could either have the equipment, right, it could have the equipment spawn like back here, or... I could just build a parking lot out front for it and then have the equipment spawn out there and then make it to where you walk up to um, the front doors here to purchase or walk up to the store or something to purchase and then have the equipment spawn out front and or we could just open up the gate here and then make it to where you have to bring your equipment back here to sell it. You know what I'm saying? So this would be your sell point to sell your equipment right here. And then, um, yeah, when you bought your equipment, it would spawn out front in the parking lot. So that's an idea. So that might be our store. May and or may not. We'll have to see how it goes. And I wanted to get them tunnels in on this uh, stream and everything. The tunnels, I wanted to change the color of the water. I didn't get none of that done. I'm messing with this. Oh, you know what, since I got this. I might go ahead and do this in between. In between them rocks. Maybe. What do you think, Bray? You think that'll be a good store? I see you there, Joel. I see you. This thing drives me nuts, man. Dude, that's actually see what I mean about that thing not being flat like it's it's weird and then whenever you come over here there's even where is it at somewhere there was even bigger ones like that Yeah, there's a little like if I if I place that see that still ain't sitting flat, is it? It might be. No. Look, there's a texture that I was going to throw down. Is that is that the Oh okay. Um What was I gonna say? Oh, right, so I got that store converted. The only thing is, <laughs> if you place it down as a mod, that gate's supposed to open. You're supposed to be able to walk up to that gate, and that gate opens. Well, that's not working. Um, so there's a little more messing with it if I wanted to use it as a mod to get it to work. But if I just place it down in the map, It'll be alright. 
because I could just manually open the door, the gate from in here, or I can just um, uh, do in the map animated uh, objects and make it open through the map too. So there's a few different options, but I, I think just putting the the cell point in the back, like where you sell your vehicles. Just open up that gate, put your cell point in the back, and then make it to where... Because if you go in and you buy a bunch of different stuff, I don't think putting it in the back would be a good idea considering um, it's not really that big back here. So go ahead and um, put it in the front where your equipment spawns and then put the cell part in the back. I really cannot remember where I got the grass text. Oh, you know what? I do. When I was going into... Okay, so let me go back. So, maps. Maps, texture, terrain, ground. That is it. Alright, so I just need to find grass. Right. Yeah, grass cut. Alpine grass. That ain't it. That's an, oops. Backed out too far. Textures, terrain. Ground. Grass. I don't think this is it. Or wait a minute, what did I use? Normal? I did use the fuse, I need normal. exactly where I found it at. <laughs> uh, okay, back again. Oops. Ah, there we go. Try this again. Okay, grass dry, grass dry patchy. Ooh, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that again. Last time I did that, it crashed on me. Ah, uh, come on! I was just in here before I started to. There we go. I think I said that before, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gotta be it. No, I don't think it is. Eh, well, there's that. It's awful dark, but there's that. Alright, so now we know we can use that. Map moss. There's some moss. It's not too bad. Uh, 
still the grass that I had though, I think looked the best, but for being the background, I guess almost anything, anything other than white would be okay. <laughs> uh, can you use matte dirt? Be all right too, I guess. Let's see what else we got. Another dirt, a different dirt. Okay with that too. I'm sorry, Joel. I just now seen that. Were you talking about the moss or the dirt? Let's see what the alpine dirt looks like. Alpine dirt. Yeah, the moss looked pretty good out on it. That other um, patchy grass I had looked good too. But I can't find it. I really cannot find it. Like I was just in there. <laughs> what is this? Map leak. There's the moss again. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The, the, we can make it rusty. Map rust. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess that's like dirt for on a building or something. Alright, back to the moss. Ooh, what's that? Ice block? Killer. <laughs> but. All right, back to the moss. Let's see what the moss looks like again. Wheat. Oh look, we can throw some grain down. <laughs> I really can't remember where that other stuff was. Alright, so even if I just take this and just throw it along the edge where the trees and that's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? And then start from back here on the edge of it and just make a little rock formation or something and we'll call it a day I think I might go ahead and leave this building here it'll be like a building in the woods just so we don't have to deal with that white spot too um, yeah and then this moss maybe we'll bring it up here and line it on this edge as well
Like, I could have just went ahead and left all that there. And then just left this whole downtown piece here and then that. But, I, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a login map. So, we got to get rid of as much as possible. And then trying to keep some stuff as well. Like I said, I gotta. I want to keep them cell points, but I want to get rid of as much as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and get our trees in here. Up to that point, anyway. So after we get that taken care of, all we gotta do is put a little bit more trees in there. We get rocking and rolling here. I'm excited. I ain't even I can't wait to play on I can't even wait to play on it already I I say that but I won't I'll start to and then I'll start building another map or something then I'll never play it the new game will be out before I get to play it I don't know the last map I made though people are really they're still enjoying it I actually had somebody bought it not too long ago. I didn't think anybody else would buy it considering the fact that the new game was out, but yeah. It's a good map. The Triple D County. I started the series on it, but then the new game came out. Yeah, the new game messed me up. Being a being being that I, you know, creator and all, I had to, I had to move on with it, or I'd get left behind. I do want to try to convert that map, though. It's going to be some work. Definitely going to be some work, without a doubt. I promise one of these days I'm gonna get a new playlist of music made too. I just gotta go in the video editor and make a new playlist, edit it out, and then put it in OBS there. That way there's a bigger variety. Have you watched any of my videos? Um, ooh, the mic. Any of the videos that I, uh, the series on FS22? The Alpine. I actually made that. That's actually a TP map. I don't know if you've watched it or not, but it's actually a TP map. But I was just trying to play, build up money, build the farm up, and all that before I went to, um, Uh, to build up money to be able to purchase the land and everything to do the TP stuff. I haven't even showed it off yet. All the TP stuff. So it's like nothing major, but but there is some pretty neat stuff I threw down on there. It's just like a real quick slammed it out type deal, but it's still got some detail to it. So I kind of want to get back to that before it gets left behind 
I got another episode made. I just gotta post it. been using the terraform like I said it's an okay it's an okay mod I'm not like a hundred percent sold on it though I really don't you could tell that it's like the paint tool doing its thing it's not as good as a TP map and you just sitting there digging the materials but I mean I ain't gonna sit there and fully knock it though because that combined with the ATP map, it's it's pretty nice. It is nice. So that way you can dig out your materials, and if you want to, like if you're digging in a mine or something, you want to just flip on the terraform mod and keep digging. <laughs> buttons. Yeah, there's a lot of people that say they ain't gonna get the new game because uh, it ain't no different than FS19. They're just gonna keep playing FS19 until the new one comes out, this, that, and the other. Which I had the same thought though. I had the same feelings on it before it came out, but uh, I was like, I gotta get it, you know, be a creator and that, and, uh, started playing it, you know, there's enough extra 
uh, stuff they added to it to make it worth it. It's definitely, I think it's worth it. I still like playing 19 too though, but <laughs> I just like the fact that now, um, like if you go from logging to running an excavator and digging a hole or whatever, you could just change your clothes anywhere. Um, that, there, I mean, there's a few new things about it, man. It's pretty cool. There's a few things about it that's not pretty cool, too. <laughs> like, the, the, the new build mode, like, it's okay, but I just don't like how, like, even when you're placing down a building or anything like that, it, it just doesn't let you zoom far away. Like, if you're placing down a bigger building, it doesn't let you zoom out far enough to actually see what you're doing. And that's one of the, the, the main things they need to fix, man. The build mode. Some things about it I like though, because some people's complaining about it's just like the editor. You got to paint down the text, the the grass texture underneath, and then put down the actual grass. I actually like that. Uh, some people, there, well, there's been quite a few people complaining about that, but I like that feature about it now. I guess I guess you like it if you're uh, yeah used to using the editor because it's the same in the, in the editor. But Man, I, I hate having to go to work. <laughs> it, it really makes it where I ain't got time to get enough done here. Be nice if this was my work. Man, I'd have, I'd have all kinds of maps out. Yeah, 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 like I said, as soon as I'm done with these, uh, this section of trees here. Like, I probably should have just went to bed, like, 40 minutes ago. <laughs> 
because cons and especially considering tomorrow is Friday. So whenever I'm done, uh, so whenever I get off of work, like I'm working nighttime. So whenever the weekend comes, um, if Friday comes, instead of going to bed around this time on Friday, like I probably should, I don't. I just stay up all day. And, uh, and normally just stay up all night too and then, then go go to bed the following day and make videos and all that good stuff but I got a couple little errands to run after I get off work tomorrow and then I'm just gonna come home and work on the map so that's the game plan uh, Yeah, might mess with it for a little bit and then and then start streaming. Not not sure yet. I'm definitely gonna stream for sure. Um, it's just hard when there's a full house because <laughs> because this new microphone I got, man, it it picks up a pin drop from upstairs on the other side of the house, like. So it's just hard to stream when people's home because they're just loud. <laughs> but nobody will be home tomorrow. Until about this time. So I definitely got to stream tomorrow. got our tunnels and stuff in today if it wasn't for messing with that white spot definitely would have got it done today like I'm surprised I got them trees so straight <laughs> like they're surprisingly straight throw this one back in your editor and just see why the, the texture on it's so rough like I really don't know why it's like that I might have to try to fix it and if I get it fixed then I'll just have to switch them out like change the name on it or something and then go into the text editor on the i3d file there and just try to change it out through there so it changes all of them or something.
Had it. I pronounce it. I don't even pronounce it. Why not? Yeah, I should have ran my errands today. I just didn't want to. So I should have did it today, so I didn't have to do it tomorrow. But I had to get him to build my map. It's like I run heavy equipment in real life. Like I, like I always wanted to do it, <coughs> and now that I'm doing it. I'd rather come home and do it on the computer. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but yeah, at least at least when I'm doing it on the computer, I don't have to put up with people's crap. Like it takes all the fun from the job. Then you got to deal with truck drivers, and yeah, it's it's just a headache. I thought it would be fun until I started doing it. Like, if I was doing it somewhere other than where I'm doing it, it would probably, probably would be fun. Go to Alaska and dig gold with Parker. <laughs> ladies and gents it's getting late um so we so we got uh two more trees to run but we're gonna go ahead and pick up on that tomorrow so um again i told you the game plan we're gonna i'll finish them trees um i'll either do this on or off stream tomorrow get this all hidden get all that stuff deleted and then we got to finish running our trees out here. Um, put our last couple of tunnels in. Look, we got one way back there. Put our last few tunnels in. Um, get rid of that stuff. Got to go through here, see what we're doing with all this stuff here. Um, and then go from there. Like I said, I got 
this like I was trying to make this a separate sawmill cell point and I tried to do it through the XML files and it just was not working every time I put the cell point back here because it's actually right here so I kept trying to move it from here to back there but whenever you went in game like I was putting in the precise I was clicking on this and I was putting in the precise um, translations through the XML file I was putting in those translations matter of fact you see I still got the trigger right there <laughs> I was putting them translations in through the XML file, but whenever you went in game, it was putting the cell point clean over here on the highway. And then it just wasn't working. So, uh, I don't know. I might mess with it again to see if I can't get it to work. Um, either move the actual cell point back there or create another one. Like, I'd rather there be two, to be honest. Uh, I'd rather you be able to come up here and just throw some logs off like you normally would. Or you can come back here and um, use your have your excavator or high lift or whatever sitting back here. And you could unload your truck, throw them on there, and just let them sit there until um, you're ready to sell. Or until you get full and then you can come over and just hit the button and sell it. Sell them after you get it full. Like... Uh, or, like I said, you could stockpile your logs here and then do all your wood chipping back here, pulling your logs off of there. Like I said, the, the wood chip cell point sits right here. Uh, like, I really want to use this thing because I built it. I made this thing. I, I just made this thing with little things I grabbed around the map and I made this. I made this here rusty. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I made these tubes and everything like I just want to use it but I can't because I couldn't get it to work I mean you can set your logs on there I mean uh, that aspect of it works but to actually sell on it it's not working right now uh, that of course we'll put some trees and stuff around here like I want to do something else with it uh, yeah I don't know we'll figure it out it's just got to be awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we're going to change the watercolor, too, because that's just too blue. Uh, but, yeah. So, uh, we'll figure it out. So, in the next stream, you know what we're doing. Hope to see you here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you subscribed, I appreciate that. Um, and that's it. So, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. I see you, Brad. Deuces, brother. Uh... If you want to see what's coming, what's next, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out. Deuces. Was your translate and route right? Uh, I'm pretty sure, because all I did was I clicked on the, um, whatchamacallit up here. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Yeah, I, I used the trigger. I used this thing itself. Uh, I used the cell point trigger all of it and then I just came up here and just copied the translations and then went to the XML file put it in there but it didn't matter what translation I used it just kept putting it like I said right there in the middle of the highway it was driving me nuts <laughs> so I just gave up on it um, I'll go back to it though because I, I really do want that to work but I'd rather it work and two separate two separate ones like I said I, I I'd like to keep this L point that's already here because it's right here and then have that one as well so even if I don't use this all mill uh, cell point uh, if I just used um, the, the the biomass uh, one of them sells what too one of them I gotta be able to use <laughs> but I uh, yeah so I'm out doses